If you are looking for the easiest way to connect your Shopify e-commerce store to Google Merchant Center, you came across the right video. In this simple three-step explanation video, I'm going to show you how you set it up once and then it will run on complete autopilot so you can focus on making more profit from your Google Ads afterwards. I found most success with this app because it works with multiple languages and multiple currencies if you want to expand your Shopify store later down the line. Make sure to watch until the end of the video to apply the strategy correctly because it will result in simply more profit from your Google Ads because you provide them with more information about your products and your collections so they will reward you literally with more profit. Without further ado, let's dive right into my three step process. The first step is to install the application. The second step is to configure all settings in the application. And the third step already is to connect this application to your merchant center. All right, so we start with step number one, which is installing the application. I will leave the link down in the description so you can click on it and install it right away. Uh, if you click on the link, you open a page that looks like this. And then you just simply need to paste your store URL uh, in here. So let me copy and paste it from the sample store, copy and paste. Then it will open automatically the Shopify store. You press install right here. Then you can simply press here, continue without a Google account. So we don't need a Google account for this setup yet. Uh, we choose the Google Shopping as we are focusing on uh, Google advertising first so you, you press start creating feed then you press the primary feed as we see here because it will send the uh, product information to Google Merchant Center and that's exactly what we want so you press next so to make it extra easy uh, you can implement something like this so your initials from your name uh, the shop name what we are working on and for example the country of the feed so we are going to create this feed for Netherlands and Belgium. So we start with Netherlands first and that's why we implement NL right here. So then you press the feed format. We will do XML uh, because it's simply easier to connect than the other ways. So then you press already next and we understand that we don't have a Merchant Center account as of yet because we are going to link it on a different way. So you press OK, got it. Uh, this is a very important step. Here you need to install the languages if you want to. Uh, this website only has a Dutch language, but make sure to select the right one, even if you have multiple languages active uh, in your Shopify store. And the same for currency. Now we only have Euro, but if you have dollar, for example, or Canadian dollar, you can press the right uh, currency right here. And to do so, if you have different currencies, you press edit and you tap with the mouse right here and you add here more and add a courtesy parameter. Uh, as of right now, we only have the euro parameter, but if you have another one, uh, as I just said, dollar, you can implement dollar right here. So you make sure to provide the merchant center with the right information. And then we go to the feed label, which is really important. We literally see that some people have three times cheaper cost per click if they apply the right feed label. So make sure to apply the right one. Uh, Netherlands is automatically filled in as NL. Uh, but if you're wondering what your feed label is, uh, go to the link in the description, which leads to my website. And there you literally have the overview of all feed labels, what you need. So make sure to check your feed label right there as well. Uh, so for now, NL is right. Uh, we can continue with the next step. So we press next. Uh, here we don't need to change anything as most of the default settings are correct. So we press next. Uh, here everything is also correct. Next. Uh, here it's very important that you select the right category right here. So I remove this one, uh, press shift and double quote. And for example, this website is selling clothing. So we want to make sure that we attach the right category uh, in here. So Google understand that we are selling products in the uh, clothing niche, right? So the more information we give, the cheaper our advertising is and the more results we are going to get. So make sure to implement clothing right here. Uh, the rest we can leave automatically like this. Uh, here, for example, age group, we always fill in, for example, they're selling for adults. So we start always with the quotation marks in order to get the options. Uh, here we get the sizing system as they're selling in the Europe. Uh, we select EU and the sizing type we can select, for example, regular. So if you have any uh, other languages outside of English, uh, you can press for the color and the size uh, added right here. So you press the second one and you, for example, uh, implement the uh, color name in your language, right? So in Dutch, that's kleur. So we add the option right here and size we can change to uh, maat as it is in, in Dutch. So we add the option. And if you're selling in another language, you need to uh, implement this for your own language, right? So other things are already correct. So we press next, we press next one more time. Then we scroll down to see if all shipping settings are implemented correctly. 
So we see we selected the country uh, Netherlands, so all uh, shipping costs are automatically uh, synchronized from your Shopify website. Uh, and if you don't have this right here, make sure to select the shipping settings uh, in the settings right there. Uh, so you can press next. Here we don't need to press nothing. You press next one more time, next. And here everything is all right. So one more time, you do your initials, your shop name and the country, XML file. And now you can already press save draft right here. Uh, so here is a different hierarchy. So if you have multiple collections, which I highly suggest, uh, you can add the collections right here. So for example, these are dresses. So you press on the dresses right here uh, because sometimes it's not available or it's not handy for you to uh, have everything in the clothing category as I just explained. So sometimes you can specify it even more. So this level is above this level, right? So if you press on this uh, Jurke, which means dresses, you add a standard attribution right here and then you press first the Google category. Then you do double quotation mark and you search, for example, dresses. Here I see apparel, accessories, clothing and dresses. That is the right one for this. And as this is for women, we also want to attach a gender right here. So in for gender, we apply female. So that's perfect. So you will do so for all categories you have on your website and make sure your categories are also aligned with the uh, Google category. So you even give them more data uh, from the products what you are selling. So uh, for this sample, I just press uh, Jurken as it's dresses. And then when I press save group draft, now I'll press save feed settings. And now it tells me that I need to apply for a small plan, which is totally fine because once we set it up, it will run on complete autopilot. So for now we press OK. So here we press approve for the small plan. So now we see that the plan is successfully upgraded. So we go back to the settings. We press one more time manual refresh. And here you can select all options, but it's already uh, by default automatically. So what this means feed scheduling is that it's going to synchronize all the information from your Shopify website to Merchant Center uh, around two o'clock uh, in the afternoon. Uh, in the European uh, Amsterdam time zone. But it doesn't really matter because it's going to get the information uh, anywhere in 24 hours, right? So what we need to do right now is to wait a moment until all products are synchronized from Shopify. And now we see that they're done. So we press on the feed one time. Then we go back to the feed right here. And then we press here copy because we are going to copy the XML link with all the information uh, from your products and we are going to implement it in your merchant center. So that's step number three already implemented in your Google Merchant Center. So step number three right now is to implement all the information in your Google Merchant Center. So we go over to the homepage for Merchant Center where we are right now and then we go to products and then we press add new products and then we press add products from a file as we just created an XML file uh, which I copied right here and we paste it. So here you see the Shopify XML file you just paste it there. You can press here, it will be automatically updated 12 a.m., which is totally fine. There is no username password required. And here in the settings down below, it's very important that you only press Netherlands uh, because we just implemented Netherlands as the shipping country. So you want to exclude Belgium right here and we will create a separated feed for that. So this product will show in Netherlands just as we implemented in the app in Dutch language as in Holland we speak Dutch and we will select for all market methods, right? So now we press continue and now it takes a while for the merchant center to achieve all products from the Shopify XML feed, right? So then you just need to wait and now we need to do the second step as well for the Belgium feed. So now we go back to uh, the multi feed. We go back here and we literally duplicate this feed. We change the name to Belgium and then we press uh, save draft. Okay, got it. So we, we need to change the target countries. So we go to targets. Uh, language will be still Dutch for Belgium, but we need to change the feed label for Belgium. So if you go to my website, you see here Belgium is BE. So let's implement BE. And basically the rest of the settings is exactly the same for Belgium. So I will save you some time and click through them. And the last setting, which is important, of course, is to check if the shipping settings are all right. So for this case, Netherlands is not relevant anymore. So you want to remove the entry of Netherlands. So we only left with Belgium right here. So now we press save draft, save draft again. So that was step number two, configure the settings. And step number three is then to connect these settings to Merchant Center. We need to do one more thing, and that is the save draft group. Then we, of course, save the feed settings one more time. 
So it will refresh all the settings we created for Belgium right now, give us a separate link which we can connect in your Google Merchant Center. So let's wait a moment until this is ready. Now that it's ready, we are going back in the settings and want to copy one more time for Belgium. So now we go back to the Merchant Center. We still see that this product source is configured and we see now that the products are added. So now we want to implement a new source. So here we press add products, add products from another source. We go to add uh, products from a file one more time. Here we paste the file we just copied from multi-feed for the Belgium feed and now we unselect Netherlands because this feed is only for Belgium then we press save we press the right language one more time which is Dutch again and then we press continue so what it will do is synchronize the product from the Belgium feed as well with all separate specifications such as the shipping and the feed label so now this will take a few hours until your products are visible in the merchant center so and that's basically already it now all the information from your Shopify environment will be automatically synced in your Google merchant center and we can also see that the products are in under review right now so most of the time within one or two business days they will turn green and they are ready to go for advertising on Google Ads. So it's very important that you collect this the right way and give uh, the multi-feed as much information also for the categories as possible because they will use this information in your Google Ads strategy and you're literally giving the algorithm more information to find the right people and generate more sales. So even if you are ready after this video, connecting your Shopify environment to Merchant Center is not enough. Now it's a fun time and that's what you need to do with launching the Google Ads. Therefore, if you want more information about launching your first Google Ads make sure to watch some recommendation videos after this and if you are ready for the next level and want me personally to run your Google Ads and scale up to more than 100,000 euros a month using Google Ads alone focusing on profit make sure to book a call with me with the link in the description see you on the winning side